Well, whether you're about to head to work or you're grabbing a bite to eat right before class, there's a spot on Cass Avenue near Wayne State University in Detroit that's helping people fuel up and start their day. They have breakfast favorites from things like waffles, pancakes, and a lot of omelets. And you can also get it all to go. So for Takeout Tuesday today, we are checking out the menu at Campus Bistro. And here with us is the restaurant's co-owner, Marina Dokic. And we also have Chef Teresa Hall. Thank you so much for being here with us. And First, let's get into it. Marina, what is the special what is special about the ingredients that you are using in your restaurant? These are they have they're a little something different. Um, they're all fresh ingredients. Um, everything is homemade, everything's from scratch, and we make it with love. Nice. Are they uh, did I thought I heard you say something about um, are they more organic as well? Yes, we try to or do organic as much as possible. So it's just healthy. We do like a healthy you know, traditional type of food, like your mom used to make, you like, know? Like, what you would want, like, mom to make or yes, they used to make. Nice and good for you and tasty as well. So let's talk yes. about the first meal of the day, breakfast. Marina, what kind of breakfast items do you offer? Oh, we do omelets. We do um, your traditional breakfast, you know, with eggs, choice of meat, hash browns or grits, um, your toast. We have pancakes, um, French toast. We have beignets. Ooh, but is that what we're yes, looking at right over yeah, there? Yes, with the beignets, yes. We do breakfast wraps as well. Um, well, well we have, we're we going to get a close-up here on the beignets really quick, I think. There you are. Yes. Oh, those what are kind homemade. Of, those what, are... what kind of sauce do you have on those? Well, um, I have a little bit of caramel on there. We do have a raspberry drizzle. Um, you can, we also do have chocolate in there, but I didn't want to. We, we, we don't need to have all the sauces out right now. Yes, That's fine. Yes. So, Chef Teresa, you're going to make us an omelet right now. And can you let us know a little bit about how to make a good omelet if we want to do it at home? Sure. Um, the omelets that I'm going to make, or the omelet I'm going to make today, it's going to be all vegetables. So okay. I'm going to do it differently than if I were going to use a protein, which would be a bacon, a sausage. Those meats would have to cook first this is gonna cook all simultaneously. All right, so let's get into it. So you have the eggs already whipped up right there, and those are gonna go in the pan. Nice. And so why would you wanna generally cook the meats first if you wanted to put in meats? So that they are cooked properly before you put the eggs in. Nice. All of your vegetables you want to remain crunchy, so mm -hmm. I'm going to do the spinach last because the spinach is what is going to wilt first. Yeah, you want to almost always, any dish you're cooking with spinach, that's generally the last thing you want to put in because it is so sensitive to that's the heat. That's correct. Those were my tomatoes. I'm going to use a few bell peppers. Oh, nice. Colors are always important. Cheese is going to go after the spinach. Nice, and you kind of want it to cook up a little bit first before you put the cheese on there, that's correct? That's correct. Nice. Well, aside from breakfast items, what other things do you have on your menu as we let this cook a little bit? Um, here I make the homemade chili and soups for the restaurant. So we have chili three ways here. Ooh. There's a vegetarian on the uh, inside here. And then we have a chicken chili and then we have a regular beef chili. Oh, nice. All the chilies are garnished with homemade um, sour creams that we whip up. And then it has a pico, which has the red peppers, jalapenos, and cilantro. Oh, nice. On the side, we have those um, nan dippers. Okay, so which like. Which were deep fried and then tossed in chili powder with onion powder and garlic powder. That's Give awesome. Give it a little, it's still a cracker. Yeah, little crackers, just little to kind of have something to dip it in. That's so, correct. Marina, you're located in Midtown. Tell us why. Being in Detroit and in that area and neighborhood is so important to you. Oh, it means everything. I've been in Detroit um, my whole life, basically. So we've had restaurants in Detroit. My father started off in Detroit, and then I guess we just, you know, copied him, I guess. Yeah, it, it's, it's home for you. Like Oh, my gosh, yes. Yes, I love it here. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't have a business anywhere else. Awesome. Detroit is number one. Well, can you let everyone know how they can find out more about Campus Bistro and, and find you guys? Yes, we're located on um, 5470 Cass Avenue. Uh, we're right in the Wayne State area. Um, we're open from 8 to 4, Monday through Friday, and uh, 9 to 3 on uh, Saturdays. All right. Sunday's closed. 
So we're starting to get a little bit of the flip here on the, on the omelet. It might have neat. Normally it'll be cooked a little bit longer, but we're rushing it for TV here. And is this what the final one ends up looking yeah. like? Yes, yeah. ma'am. Well, this looks amazing. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank You're you. welcome Thank for you having, having us. us.